Hey everyone, Gamer Dad here. So, uh, yeah, everyone's running around in their underwear now, <laughs> as I suspected. That's okay. Every day I log in, there's a couple glitches. That's okay too, because the amount of detail in this game, once you actually get there, is pretty insane. So, today we're walking through two of the convention halls. And, uh, oh yeah, this is, uh, takes me back to Westworld. So, uh, I felt like I wanted to, uh, feel like I was in Westworld. And this just proves to me that everything is a conspiracy and we're all just in the Matrix. But, <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. It's like they're all just lined up, ready to go for their job for the day. But, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, the Aegis Hall and the uh, RSI Hall. So that's pretty okay. Actually, it's really good. Aegis has a lot of ships. Uh, I'm just going to take you and walk you around all of them. <laughs> As I said, this guy here, I think he's going to try to communicate with me. Yep, for sure. Uh, the tea bag communication. You bet. <laughs> so, yeah, it's always great fun. It's always great fun. But uh, we're going to walk through the Aegis Hall. And we're going to walk through that one first here. And I'm just going to show you all the different ships they have. They got uh, some really good ones. Actually, this thing here didn't work on the first day and now it's like it's working on this on today but it's overlapping and then I think a little bit later on it actually works perfectly so they're making progress every day and everything's oh yeah here it is so <laughs> uh, this one's actually working the way it's supposed to work so the first day I was here it didn't work at all the second time I came in it was like that and this is now the third time so like I said making progress making progress uh, we're gonna walk up and see the Aegis ships here and uh, it's pretty impressive the first one we get to see here it's the Aegis Reclaimer and it is a massive ship as you can see here, they have all, what is it, five halls here filled up, plus a basement with a couple of the concepts in hologram form. So right here we have the Aegis Reclaimer, which is going to be a massive reclaiming ship for salvaging and it's actually they're going to modify it and they're probably going to have something that you can put in place that's going to make it also a mining refinery as well so they're going to make it a multi-use ship which is pretty awesome and pretty cool and they're actually listening to the community on this one because the community has been flying this ship for quite a while now and it's just a massive tank of a ship so it can't really go anywhere fast it can't really do anything and the fact that salvaging isn't in game yet means that it's basically a pretty useless ship it's just really big so we have mining and we have refining so they're gonna make it into a refiner first and then actually next year is supposed to be salvaging so it won't be on this scale of salvaging on the first iteration almost undoubtedly it'll be more but they're working towards it i really enjoy these holograms that they have here and yeah just enjoy the hologram this is a friendly reminder that this was an exoplanet with shared spaces so they actually have those in between all the halls and here we have a stealth bomber so the thought of Star Citizen is supposedly like World War II warfare in the future, in space times. So, 
take that as you will. Lots of the things in World War II with stealth bombers and bombers in general and mine layers. If you think about it pretty closely or at all, lots of it doesn't hold up in future terms. But it's going to be really cool for what they call theaters of war. And I hope we're going to have that within the next couple of years, maybe. We might have something of that. And that's basically going to be your battlefield or first person shooter action shooter multiplayer most likely so I'm hoping that's gonna be there this right here is another bomber that they have the retaliator and it's a fan favorite it's got quite a few people who love it and quite a few people who take it on the main missions when we actually have the dynamic events because it can take out the big ships pretty nicely it's got some big some big missiles and some big torpedoes on it the Aegis Retaliator yeah this one here is the Vanguard Warden it is a, another heavy fighter Aegis makes a lot of fighters and a lot of bombers and they probably have one of the biggest selection of ships in game but there are over a hundred ships in Star Citizen right now and it's just every one of them is so detailed that they're very very nice very awesome if you have not checked it out, you definitely should. Now, you can rent all of these by just walking up to them, pressing the F key, and renting them for zero dollars, which is super awesome. And for these two weeks, it's a free fly event as well. So, in the next hall, we have the pride and princess of the show is the redeemer right there in the middle and then we have the avenger here that will just take a quick walk around and it's actually one of the starter ships you can get and it's a very good quick and nimble you can do all the missions you want with it really uh you can't uh yeah you can even do box missions because it's even got the ramp on her so it's a very good starter ship. It's a very good ship to just progress with. And the actual other ship in this hall is the Redeemer. And this one was a fan built ship that was built, that was fan made many, many years ago. And the developers said that they would put it in. CIG said they'd put it in. And here it is. So it's all designed by the fans and then of course CIG took it and did what they wanted to do with it and it was supposed to be a drop ship to begin with but now it's just basically a giant gunboat with some giant shields on it so they say it's a lot of fun I'm gonna take it out and try it I've rented it so yeah it's definitely a unique looking ship it's got these nutcracker engines on it and those open up when you're flying and it's supposed to have some really good atmospheric flight things like that so this here we have is the gladius and it's another fighter another very detailed ship and very fun to fly very nimble very agile just the different and the varied amounts of ships they have in this is already pretty insane compared to anything out there. So the fact that we still have probably years of development left and they're going to be developing ships all along because that's basically their fundraising model. By the time this game goes live, we're going to have 
two, three, four hundred different types of ships. And of course, that Avenger, that ship we just looked at, the Gladius and things like that, all of those ships have variants of different types. Like some of them are laser, some of them are missile, some of them are just cargo, some of them are just transport. So right here we have a the Hammerhead, which is a warship. And as you can see, it's got turrets just about everywhere. And they're all manned. And when you fully man this thing, she's got a lot of guns pointing at you. So just yet again, another thing that's like, we're going to have multiple of this types, multiple variants of this. Maybe not of this warship here, of the Hammerhead, but we'll have multiple variants of the same class of ship coming from the other manufacturers. And it's all going to be just insane when this is done. So I'm really looking forward to it. As you can see, everything runs very nice right now. As you could also see at the beginning, they got some server issues to work out and some bugs to work out, but all to be expected. I mean, every game that's launched in the last year to two, every game that's launched basically lately has been just a garbage fest of servers and problems and bugs and flops and just releases that just do not live up to what they're supposed to so i don't know i'm looking forward to this they're developing this in a different way and i'm hoping it's going to be pretty awesome that way this here is the nautilus which is going to be a mine layer it's still in concept so this is the holograph hologram for it and cig has a bunch of these ships in the pipeline that's in concept that we don't really know if they're in the pipeline or not but they all look really really cool of course and they all look very awesome because they have to because they're still concept and they want you to spend your money on them so this is the Aegis Vulcan another concept ship that's just a hologram right now so still even though the fact that they put the effort in to make these holograms and to make a show that you can go into and walk around at is far different from many other games out there right now so the fact that they put those that effort into this is in my book a good thing already so this here I just wanted to uh, these is the RSI hull now and this is the constellation class ship and these ones are very sought after these ones are a limited I believe they're a limited hull so they only sell a few of them or they only sell some of them every 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 year and they're sold out every year everybody just buys them up just same with these ones this is the polaris another concept from rsi this is going to be basically the capital killer torpedo boat with a pretty awesome hangar bay that's going to be able to fit a heavy fighter we're told so this is one of the ships I'm really looking forward to. I really would like them to be working on these ships, but they're also the big ships of the verse. And right now, in my mind, it looks like they've put out a couple, like they put out the 890 Jump, which is an origin ship, which we'll get to see this IAE at some point. But they put out the, that big ship, they have a couple of other big ships, the Hammerhead. And they're working on the mechanics of the docking bays and all that and all that stuff right now, right? So my thoughts are they're not going to bring out these big ships until all of that's basically working flawlessly. They have the servers working good and they know they can support 
these big ships so when we do want to spawn them and everybody wants to show up in their Polaris you the server can actually handle 10 Polarises flying down to the planet or whatever silly thing everybody's gonna have so yeah those would be my thoughts on the big ships right now I think this ship like this is gonna be a couple years out minimum if it comes in a couple years, I'll be surprised. But we have one other ship down here. And that is going to be the Perseus, I believe. And the Perseus is another big ship fighter. But it's kind of a step down from the Polaris. But it's working with some lasers instead of torpedoes. So it's still a big capital class killer. It's still supposedly a big gunship but it works on a lot less crew and it's just a little more compact of a package so another i love the look of the rsi ships they definitely look like warships they definitely look like they belong with things bouncing off their hulls <laughs> so i do enjoy i'm looking forward to this one too but yet again, it's another large ship, so I don't think they're going to be focusing on these ones. I think they're going to put out a lot of concepts for large ships. I think they sell those concepts to people. But then I don't... I think it's... I think they're still a couple years out. Like, they got to get this server in place, and then they'll be going for that stuff. So, if you're looking to buy these ships... Like, these ships are like $700, six to 700 I would be... If you don't have the money don't spend it because it's not going to be around anytime soon this here is another one of my favorites they all come from rsi the rsi scorpius which is a heavy fighter which has a really cool turret that runs up and down the spine of the ship and actually can run down and to the back and underneath it almost so some really cool features on it some really cool design features on it of course, you're going to say it's stolen from X-Wing. It's just an X-Wing, but <laughs> they actually did a lot of research before they built this to see if they could get in trouble for it. And it's actually they, the lawyers looked it up and the X-Wing model is so prevalent in sci-fi. It's basically in every sci-fi show ever made. So pretty tough to patent, pretty tough to make that. Oh, only I can make an X-Wing when basically 12 other shows have it so not very proprietary this here is the rsi rover exploration vehicle so take this on your exploration ship drop her down and you can drive around on the planet safely we're just going to tour this this is the constellation that we were looking at earlier and I wanted to show this because this is like the party boat that everybody buys and everybody wants this one. It's definitely very well designed. It's very cool. Got a floating table there, floating glass table. Got the aquarium. Got a nice little meeting table there, a bar. Like, you can't go wrong with it for sure, but everybody's hoping on VIP transport, I guess, is the big thing. I don't know about that. I tried doing transport in Elite Dangerous. And I wasn't too much of a fan of somebody screaming at me whenever we got scanned. So, I don't know. Not really my cup of tea. I don't really want to transport people around. But other people do. And it's very popular. And lots of people buy this up every time it goes on. And like I said, it's a limited number. So, sells out every year. I believe they do three waves a day. So there's a chance of you getting it if you come sign in a little bit later kind of thing every four hours for 12 hours or something like that or every six. So yeah, very detailed ship again though and just pretty awesome. But that would conclude our tour of day two and three. See you tomorrow.